Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Last Week in Esports. I'm your host, Trainer Jared TV, and we had a huge week. A lot of stuff happening in Dallas and across the world. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. I may be a little upset that North America has fallen. I am so happy to see Northwood losing on the big stage. First time ever, Europe is winning CRL World Championships. This comes after last year, where Europe didn't even have a team in the top eight. This year, Dr. Berman wins it all over Fish University. Fantastic to see. Personally, I am praying on the downfall of Northwood. But what better way to bring it out than have a Game 7 Grand Finals, Europe taking out North America. I don't know what NA has left in Rocket League, except for possibly women's car ball. Because North America is not looking as good as EU and RLCS. EU just won Worlds in CRL. But North America won the DreamHack Invitational this weekend. Um, for women's Rocket League. Top four teams in the world for women's went to Dallas to compete in DreamHack, and Gen G takes home the trophy with Misfits finishing second. So two North American teams winning or placing top two, which I'm going to be honest, I'd love to see. I coach and manage a WCB team, um, and so excited to see them getting a little bit of um, a little bit of clout and having a great venue to form and play in. Also important when it comes to WCB, G2 has joined the scene. We have notable rosters and teams such as Gen G, Misfits, Williams Resolve, Luminosity, just to name a few, all in women's car ball. G2 has joined the fray, and they have a hell of a roster. They picked up Kia, played for the Bronze Baddies, now a star on G2. They picked up Avenger. And last but not least, G2 has picked up Karma. Yes, the Karma. Karma is now playing for G2 under the roster G2 Luna. And I believe they're going to be competing in WCB, probably doing some other stuff as well, considering it's G2. But we shall see how good they are. Competition's stiff in WCB, but I think G2 stands a chance. I think top four is almost guaranteed in North America. But we'll see. Lots of work to make that happen. And last but not least, we had the MENA region wrap-up this weekend and OCE region wrap-up this weekend. MENA, thank goodness Rule 1 has made it. Rule 1 has made it out of MENA and will be participating in the Boston Major. Fantastic for them. Falcon's not going to be here this time. Rule 1, excited to see them. As for the OCE region, Round 0 wins the major or wins the regional, apologies, and is now going to be the number 1 seed coming out of OCE for the major. Power is going to be the second seed. They come out. They managed to do well enough this weekend, and so the two representatives from OCE are Ground Zero and Power. Boston shaping up to be a really, really stacked major. So we'll see what there is. In historic news, and honestly, I don't think that's embellishing. It is historic. The first ever, like, walkout is happening in esports. The League Championship Series, or North American LCS is what it's called. The players have agreed to a walkout. Because of which, LCS is now paused for two weeks. Now, there's a ton of drama behind all of it, and I'm not going to recap it all because there's better information out there. Let me just quickly summarize. LCS agreed to not force organizations to have an academy team or a Tier 2 team. Because of that, in the financial economy right now, the orgs, well, most of them dropped the roster. And LCS uh, Players Association was not really happy with that. So they staged a walkout, are asking for demands, trying to figure out, you know, a middle ground. Because in their opinion, the tier two scene is important. And to be fair, I kind of see that it, it would... Be weird optics if LCS was the only region not to have a tier two scene. But currently negotiations are still underway. There is still a walkout, so no LCS this week. However, LPL summer started and it's shaping up to be a good one. 
many great games, many great series. I think a few upsets, in my opinion. IG taking a series against Billy Billy Gaming. But I think the quality of play looks incredible. We also got to see the Shy this weekend play Malphite to an incredible degree. Um, some of my favorite gameplay this weekend. So definitely something to keep an eye out on. LCK starts shortly. Other regions as well. It's that time. It's summer split time. This is now your chance to make worlds. Got to make it happen. Speaking of Dallas, we had IEM Dallas this weekend. And what a show. Specifically NCE with an unbelievable performance over the weekend. It is imperative that I at least let you know that ENCE versus FaZe in the semifinals, winner goes to the grand finals. ENCE and FaZe go to map three and play 59 rounds on Ancient. 59 rounds. That's two games of CS. It, an unbelievable, unbelievable event. Unbelievable performance from ENCE. Make it through FaZe. Go to the finals. Sweep Malice in the finals. Taking home IEM Dallas. If you have not seen that game, go watch it. Game three, semifinals versus phase. Truly some of the most spectacular CSGO that I think has ever been played. Unbelievable clutches. Just the, the, some of the best team strategy I've ever seen in execution. That is a must watch. Go back, relish in what some of the greatest CSGO we've seen. And I told you Dallas was busy. Not only was CSGO and Rocket League there, we had Halo. Halo Championship Series. And while FaZe didn't do it in CSGO, they sure did it in Halo. With a pretty convincing tournament from them. Sure, the finals wasn't a bracket reset from Space Station. But the event looked fantastic. The top three teams in Halo right now are almost uncontestable, it feels. Optic bringing in third, Space Station finishing second, and FaZe obviously winning, but those three teams are dominating the HCS right now. I'm wearing Space Station right now. No bias, but they performed well. Couldn't do the bracket reset in the grand finals, but it's okay. Taking top two at a huge event like this, nothing to worry about. Next event, I believe, is in a month, the next HCS. Um, I'm not sure the location, but it's sure to please. And we'll, I'll be surprised if those top three teams don't finish top three again. Hopefully Optic can you know, bounce back from this. I think they're a little unhappy with the third and the way they went out. But they got a month to regain, a month to prep. Let's see what happens. And without further ado, what you've all been waiting for, top five this week. Let's roll it. I mean, this is just a straight up baron at 20 minutes. That's why they're kind of like pushing for this right now. And look at him, look at him on the camera. He took his hands off the keyboard and everything. He is chilling right now. He is chilling. <laughs> you go, please. There's only so much I can do. And here we go. Will this matter. work? Will it work? Will it work? It will. And that's what you want to be seeing. You go, patient as ever. Gets himself his kill. The hunter finds his prey. Opportunities for both teams just mere inches away from victory. Beauty of an attempt. The crossbar curse, or in this case, the post. Not done yet for West Virginia, but another chance here for oh, Angel! Oh, yes! oh, he ends it! He saves West Virginia and steals the game! West Virginia popping off after that one! And Reddy, Axel beheads him and puts it all onto Blame, but he is looking sharp today. And he knows Axel's close. And the other one's low. If you can find Axel with a clean headshot, he's got 60 seconds and he walks Jesus. straight into his crosshairs playing the executioner. Okay. This is for the ace. He's gonna ace clutch. I can feel it in my waters. Unless, oh, Shiro's so low. He's done a lot of the hard work already. Can play and close and open with a bang. He can oh, and he oh. does. Just minute of game number two. Banana head with a bit of time to work with. Gonna take it up. Luna pre jumps, but he's getting nowhere near that. Maybe the banana head bounce dribble. Oh, doing it all himself, the banana man. This is why he is so deadly. He splits defenses in two. <laughs> <laughs> He's found a beauty of the room. Two versus two. Snappy's behind. Rain is gonna go ahead. Oh, he's gonna go back and he gets that angle right at the right time. St. Pius brings his up on over. It's a brilliant kill on the first. 
How bright can he shine? St. Pius looks to Rick. Nova! And St. Pius goes supernova! Burns brighter than anything you could imagine. That'll do it for last week in esports. This week coming up, I believe there's maybe a dream hack. Also, I believe Apex is starting or resuming or happening. Either way, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for all your support. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments. If not, praise me in the comments. Love instant gratification. It's Trainer Jared TV signing out. Thank you all and see you back here next week.